Hello, welcome back to Summit Tutoring. I'm A.J. Singh, and today we will be discussing linear function word problems. Without further ado, let's, let's hop right into it. All right, question one. Dahlia makes a cranberry apple punch that contains 20% real juice by mixing X gallons of cranberry drink with Y gallons of apple drink. The cranberry drink contains 40% real juice, and the apple drink contains 10% real juice. Which of the following equations represents the relationship between x and y? Alright, so let's see. So we know that the cranberry drink is 40%. We could equate this for equations into 0.4. So 0.4x is that is in the cranberry. And we know that for the apple drink, it contains 20%, which equates to 0.2y. So we know that we need to add these together to equate to the 20% total. So we're going to do that right now. We know that equals to something. And we know that regardless of how much we add of each drink, we must hit that 20% juice of real juice level. So we could just simply do 0.2 plus x plus y, because it doesn't matter which x or y we have. And this is the correct answer for this. Right here. OK, on to the next one. Gary learned that his car depreciates by 15% of his initial purchase value each year. If the initial purchase value of Gary car is in M dollars, which of the following function best describes the value of his car one year after purchase? So it's appreciating by 15%. We could, we could make 15% into 0.15. And we know if the total is 1, we could minus 1M, right? We're at M here too, just for this question, and then we'll minus 1.5M, and we would get 0.85M. And this is like our multiplier. In essence, we are losing 15%, but we have to multiply it by 8.5 to to show that, um, to have that 18% reduction from the initial. All right, on to the next one. Javier has a cell phone plan which allows him to use up to 4 gigabytes or GB of data per month. Streaming videos is the only action he does on his phone that uses up his data. Each time he streams a video, the number of gigabytes of his phone data plan decreases. Specifically, his cell phone company estimates that approximately 0.12 gigabytes of data are used for every 30 minutes of video streaming. If data, if sorry, if Javier has spent M minutes this month's streaming videos, which of the following best approximates the amount of data D he has remaining on his plan? Okay, so people would usually jump to conclusions and they would do this. 4 minus 0.2m and that would equal his data. That's incorrect. That is absolutely incorrect. We have to see how much per minute and because every 30 minutes he's losing 0 0.12 we have to do 0 0.12 divided by 30 and we get 0 0.004 and then we could plug it back into the same equation that we were thinking of 004m minus his 4 gigabytes and that's how much data he would have after one minute of use on average so you really have to read the question carefully and realize it's every 30 minutes every 30 minutes so we need to consider that All right Maria burns 600 calories per hour jogging and about 450 calories per biking if Maria spends X hours per day biking and four over five as much time jogging which of the following function functions best models the amount of calorie C that Maria burns in one day from her jo uh, her jogging and biking. Okay, so let's write C. 
then we need to see how are we going to find these, these two values. So if we know that she jogs four half times as much as the time she does jogging, um, then she does biking. So then we know that we have to multiply that 4 over 5 times the 600. And that gives us 450. Very x values. So then we know the 450 plus, sorry, that's 480. 480. And then we know that 450x from the amount of biking which she does in full. Uh, plus that 480 will give us a value of 9, 930 and x, x. So we know that would equal to 930x. So this is how many calories you will uh, burn from one day of from jogging and biking. So both. Alright. Malaya. I'm sorry for pronouncing that wrong. Malakia is a waitress who is guaranteed $50 per day in addition to 20% tip of all her weekly customer receipts. T. She works six days per week. Which of the following functions best represents the amount of money Michaela makes in one week? Okay, so we know 50 is the constant P is that is set. And this is daily, so... This is per day. Oh god. It's very late at night. 550 per day. And we know that's 20% of all tips. And we know that could be equated to 0.2. We, we got to know these conversions for the percentages. It's very important for the SAT. Okay? But we have to do it per six days per week. So we could do 50 times six to represent every six days and that would give us 300 so we know 300 is our constant so that would give us let's say the function of ft which represents how much she would make in one week is equal to 300 which she is bound to get and then we're going to do a point two t and t represents the amount of customer receipts she has or how much is on those customer receipts and then you'd add them all up and you'd find it all right guys this is a quick but important one i hope today's review of linear function word problems was helpful for you when preparing for the sat if you have any questions please comment please leave a comment below if you would like to reach us personally you could join our discord and message one of our tutors remember to hit that like and subscribe button and turn on post notifications for more upcoming videos.